The dead hang and active hang have been really popular topics lately, and for good reason. Both do great things for shoulder health, back health, and grip strength. The dead hang decompresses the spine and opens up the shoulder joint, often undoing years of damage from the ever pervasive slouched shoulder posture. The active hang teaches how to depress the scapula, activating and strengthening the lower trapezius, which is usually very weak and atrophied to most people, due to being constantly deactivated neurologically from that same slouched shoulder posture. Together, both of these hangs can do much to reverse the poor shoulder health of most people. However, there is often still more to be done, and luckily, there is a progression to these hangs which accomplishes the rest. This hang progression, known as the activated arch hang and the swan hang, before finally being nicknamed the perfect hang. The nickname comes from this hang's ability to address nearly all of the upper body damage of the slouch posture to an even greater degree than the dead hang and active hangs. You see, this posture wrecks our ability to properly use the shoulder blades and without proper control and strength around the shoulder blades, we are at risk for injury from nearly every upper body strength exercise we perform. Slouch posture causes constant scapular elevation and protraction, often causing shoulder pain, impingement, and rotator cuff tears. The reverse movements of the shoulder blades become uncommon during daily life and sometimes nearly impossible due to lack of strength and neurological atrophy. Basically, the person loses the ability to consciously feel or contract the muscles because they are always stretched and shut down. The dead hang and active hang address the mobility issues of the anterior shoulders and the strength and control needed for scapular depression, but they don't address the need for humeral external rotation, scapular retraction, or the dreaded packing of the shoulder blades. I say dreaded because while it is a really simple movement, it is often one of the hardest movements to understand or to coach if you haven't done it before. Why that is might be a good topic for another video, but the good news is, you don't have to even understand this if you can just train yourself to do the perfect hang properly. Because the perfect hang is impossible to do unless you depress, retract, and pack the shoulder blades while also externally rotating the humerus and, as a bonus, extending the thoracic spine. This is why it's called the perfect hang. It single-handedly addresses all the common strength and muscle control issues of the shoulders and upper spine seen in the modern sitting and cell phone loving society. Simply learn the form of the movement, perform it correctly, and there is no need for anatomical jargon. So let's get straight to performing the perfect hang. I will say if you haven't spent some time with the dead hang and active hang yet, I would do so before attempting this. They prepare the body and they lay down the foundation this movement is built off of. First, stand underneath the bar, reach up, and grab hold, either with an overhand grip or a neutral grip. Overhand grip is more common because most people have a single horizontal pull-up bar to use and because a lot of people are intending to progress to other overhand bar skills. However, if you have parallel overhead bars, the neutral grip is actually a lot nicer to your shoulders and I would suggest it for anyone who already has or has had any sort of shoulder problem. Now that you're holding the bar, pull the shoulder blades down into an active hang. Then you're going to lean the upper body back and let the torso hang passively as you pull the shoulder blades down and together. You should feel activation of your lats and upper back and your body should be pulling up so that the chest is nearly horizontal and the torso is hanging at roughly a 45 degree angle. A minor but necessary adjustment at this point is to get some external rotation in the shoulder. This happens naturally if you imagine you're trying to break the bar by rotating your arms out. At this point, you should feel a lot of squeeze around the shoulder blades. Hold this for 20 to 60 seconds, or if you can't yet, try to work up to this amount. Then release the shoulder blades and lower yourself back down into a brief active hang before dropping off the bar completely. It should be noted that the process of going from the dead hang to the active hang to the perfect hang and back down again is a dynamic exercise all to itself known as the swan pull or the activated arch pull. And I guess it's also the perfect pull even though I don't think I've ever heard anybody call it that yet. If I'm doing any sort of pull-up work or bar gymnastics work, I always start with a dead hang and some shoulder warm-ups. Then I move to 8 to 10 scapular pull-ups. Then I do 2 to 3 slow swan pulls before finally performing a perfect hang at the top of my last swan pull rep and a brief active hang on the way down. At this point, my shoulder blades are fully activated and ready for further bar work and my shoulder prehab is done for the first half of the week. If you pick up this routine, you'll notice a ridiculous gain in shoulder blade control and you'll stand taller with your shoulders in kind of a superhero posture. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope it helps out. 
If you still need some understanding of the dead hang and the active hang, I'll put a link down below to a blog article I made which explains them both fully. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe, and as always, keep moving my friends.